Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Jerry Kanga. Today is Thursday, May 19th, and we're here with your morning announcements. This week is Classified School Employees Week. Classified employees include staff such as bus drivers, cafeteria workers, and paraeducators. Be sure to take a moment to express your gratitude for them and all that they do. Speaking of expressing gratitude for staff, congrats to Ms. Baird for earning the EGSD Teacher of the Year. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, the Elk Grove Youth Commission is hosting a free event called Path to Positivity on Saturday, May 21st from 12 to 5 p.m. There will be guest speakers, representatives from citywide organizations, and counselors. There will also be an inflatable obstacle course, food trucks, special performances, music, games, and chances to win prizes. Take a picture of the screen for more information. Now let's pass it on over to Angelina and Jalen for your sports update. Crackalack and Wolfpack, I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Jayla Flunery. Welcome back to your sports update. In boys tennis news, Ted Nguyen won the, won the section singles championship against Jesuit and in doubles, Jonah Rosenthal and Brennan Guang won their game against Davis. This is the first time in our school's history that we got D1 singles and double titles. Congrats boys on your wins. In soccer news, the United States Soccer Federation is the first professional soccer team to pay both their men's and women's teams equally. The United States is the first country in to implement equal pay in the professional soccer team. The equal pay announcement comes six months before the USMNT, which is scheduled on November 21st. Well, Wolfpack, thank you for tuning in to your sports update. Back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. If you're looking to join Spirit Crew next year, Stop by the leadership room for an application which will be due tomorrow. Just a reminder that you can still pre-order this year's yearbook through the rest of the week for $90 online by googling Jostens Consumer Soaks. There are also yearbooks that are left over from last year and the year before. You can buy them in the student store. Last year's yearbook is $30 and the year before is $20. For all you student drivers out there, it's time to turn in your student parking permit. Please drop them off in the orange box in the attendance office ASAP. And that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Jerry Kanger. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy May Ray Day. Day.